Welcome to crack testing interview. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate sum of numbers using array in Java. Right? So create a method which accepts array and return sum of all the elements. So let us understand with a real example. So something like this, if I am having an array of a uh, list of element, so I want I want sum of this list element. Okay. So we'll create a method. So it should return a sum of array. Right, so we'll create a method over here. I'll be creating a public uh, static method because if it is a static, we can call this method directly, right, without creating any object. So static method and return type will be int. So we can give us any uh, method name. So method name and I need to pass argument int of variable name, we can give anyone. So I'm just giving a A over here. So this is the way we need to create a method, right? So here I am uh, creating a static method and the return type is int. So that's the reason here it is showing a error because we are creating a method is, uh, you know, return type method. So we need to add a statement, add return statement over here. So now the error gone. Then declare a variable. So declare a variable sum equal to initially it will be zero. So I am just passing this sum over here. I want to return a sum. Okay. So now I am just creating a uh, while calling the method, right? Need to pass the list of elements, something like this. So you extract every element of array and sum each value. So we can achieve this in different way. So I'll go with the for loop first. So for loop, I can go for int i equal to zero. Then i less than, here we have a, a length will be the length means the size of this array, right? A, a dot, I can go with the, I'm just calling length method over here. So length, then i plus plus. Right, so now what we need to do here, sum equal to sum plus a of i. So what happened over here, the first time the sum value will be zero, okay? Sum plus a of i, a of i will be something like this, this one. So if I am passing a value two, now zero plus two, the sum value will be two now. So the next loop, next iterations, what happened? The sum value will be two. So two plus e of i will be the second one. Second one will be 23. So two plus 23, the value, some value will be become a 25, right? This will be add, right? Now the third uh, third iteration, the next iteration is what happened. The sum value will be 25. The e of i will be 45, right? So that 25 plus 45, it will be added over here, right? Something like this. So this is the way it will be add each element and it will be stored it in a sum. Now it is going to return a sum over here. Right? So this is the way we'll be creating a method. Now we'll call this method. Right? So how you want to call this method? So as I said, we have created a static method. So directly we can call this method. Right? So I'll be uh, remove this. I'll making it a uh, Now what I'll do, I'll go with, I'll be calling this method in um, So here we are. So this a value, this is a, this is going to return a sum, right? Sum will be the integer. So I can store this in a integer type. So what happened, the sum will be going to store it over here in a total variable, right? This total variable type will be integer because this is going to return an integer type only. So that's what we have created a method. It's going to return an integer. So I'm just storing it in an integer type over here, right? Now I'll be print. I'll be printing total. Right? 
So now if I run this, what happens? It is going to pass one by one value over here and it will be add and it is going to return a sum. Sum will is going to return. I will be stored it in a total variable. So I am printing this in the total variable value. Right. So I will run this now. See, it is returning 170 over here. So this is the way we have to get the create a method, right? Which, which accept the array, right? Which accept the array and return sum of all the element. So this is the way we need to create. We can go with for each loop as well. This is a for loop, right? I'll command this and I'll be creating a for each loop as well. So for each loop, something different. Uh, something simple as well right so we can go what um a because here the value in we can add i right so the same way i can create sum of sum equal to sum plus i right this is returning sum so this is the difference for for loop and for each loop. For loop, what happened? In for loop, we have given a A of i, right? Because it will be going to iterate one by one with the values. But here, every element in the A, we have a list of element is there. It will be stored over here. In for each loop, each element going to pass over here. So that is what we have added directly i. So it will be the same iterations, how the for loop is working, right? The same way it is going to iterate and it's going to add it in a sum. It's going to return the same thing, right? I will run this so you can able to see the same result in for each loop as well. See? I hope this understand and help you a lot. Thank you.